Hello artists, today we are going to be creating totem poles inspired by Native American art. And the first thing you need to do is choose your pieces of construction paper. Now, when you're doing this, you might think about the animals that you are going to create and what they mean to you. Just like the Native Americans, each part of your pole is gonna be a different animal. So you have two choices. You may either try to match those animals, like for instance, I'm gonna be creating a bear for one of mine, a brown bear. So I'm gonna choose brown. But if I wanted to make my bear on blue paper and be a little bit more expressive and creative with it, I could do that because then later on, I can still make the bear parts out of the brown paper and glue those to the blue paper. So you may either just choose colors that you like or you can try to match the animals that you're gonna be creating on your totem poles. Some of my classes are gonna be choosing three animals and some of them are gonna be choosing five. I'm gonna go ahead and choose five today. Now that I've chosen my pieces of paper, the first thing I want to do is line them up. There's a bowl at your table. You're going to use that bowl and put it in the corner. If you notice, the bowl's kind of touching the sides of the construction paper, just like that. And we're just going to round these out so they look a little bit more like a totem pole and a little less like just a piece of paper. So like that, and do that to all four corners. After you are done rounding out all four corners, keep your papers stacked. Try to pinch them as hard as you can because what we're gonna be doing is cutting those edges off. But instead of having to cut each piece of paper, if we leave them stacked up while we're cutting one, we're actually cutting through the whole stack. Remember when we use scissors, open them wide like an alligator's mouth. Every time you cut, straighten up your papers again. and all of your scraps can go in your table trash can. The next thing we need to do for our project is put our name and class on all of the sheets of paper. Now what we need to do is figure out what order you would like your totem pole to go in um, from the bottom all the way to the top. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to make my bear first and I know for sure that I want my eagle to be last um, just because of the significance of it and then also because I most of the totem poles have wings towards the top. So I want my eagle to have the wings at the very top of the totem pole. The other ones you can put in order depending on the color you like or the significance of what's most important to you. Once you figure out what order you want, we're gonna be starting with our very bottom piece first and then we're going to put the next one up. Now, if you notice, I'm just trying to line them up so that there's no gap in between whatsoever. My name is facing up because this is the back side where we're gonna tape it. You're gonna be using masking tape today and you wanna kinda, you know, compare because you want it to fill the whole paper. If you have a hard time tearing the tape like I did, then you can feel free to cut it with your scissors. Um, but you don't need super long pieces, about that long. You could either have a shoulder buddy hold this for you, and while they tape, you can hold, and then they can help you hold your papers. Or if you're able to do it all on your own, you want absolutely no gap in there. You're putting the tape over both pieces sideways like that. You can see that the tape is covering my yellow paper and it's covering my brown paper. Smear it down nicely and just keep working your way up. If you do happen to get a little tape run over, make sure you trim that up. The TV is a little bit small to show you, so I'm just going to kind of keep it running. This is what the back side of your totem pole should look like. Each piece has my name on it, and each piece is taped together with no gap at the end. Every week that we clean these up, what we have to do to put them in the table folders is fold them accordion style. So I folded it this way, now fold it opposite. Kind of make an accordion out of it. 
so that these will fit nicely in your table folder just like that.